Number 35. A nurse pushes a cart by exerting a force on the handle at a downward angle 35 degrees below the horizontal. The loaded cart has a mass of 28 kilograms and the force of friction is 60 newtons. Letter A. Draw a free body diagram for the system of interest. All right, so let's take a look at the picture. It seems to be that this nurse is pushing the cart, right? And uh, it's at a downward angle of 35 degrees. So the point of interest here is going to be this particular location where the uh, nurse is pushing the cart, okay, where she's touching the handle. So let's uh, take that part and let's detail it, all right? Let's draw a coordinate system. I'll draw it in black. All right, so we have that here. Now, the force she is applying to the cart, all right, um, so meaning the force on the cart is going to be applied by the nurse at an angle of 35 degrees below the horizontal. So that should look something like this. Okay, so here's the uh, force. We don't know what it is. I'll just detail it as F sub A, meaning the force applied. And the angle here was 35 degrees, right? 35.0 degrees. Cool. And now it says that the cart and that the force of friction is 60 newtons. So we can just assume, right, if, if she's pushing the cart to the right hand uh, side, right, that means that there must be a frictional force opposing that motion to the left. Okay, so in terms of my free body diagram, I'm assuming it's moving to the right and therefore my force of friction now will be pointing to the left. Now it's pointing exactly to the left, meaning it's not in the X or Y plane, excuse me, it's not in the X and Y plane, it's purely in the X plane. All right, and negative is going to have a value of 60 newtons. I'm not going to put a negative sign here just because I do have the direction in terms of the vector. All right, but I will have to when I consider the math. So uh, now what we need to do, so this is the free body diagram. I mean, this is it for letter A. Okay, these are the only forces acting on the, acting on the object. Um, remember that the mass of the object in the middle is going to be 28 kilograms. So easy peasy. So letter B now. What force must the nurse exert to move at a constant velocity. So just think, guys, we're doing forces. Is velocity involved directly in the force, the force formulas we've been using? No, right? Uh, but it is related. How so? Well, through acceleration, right? Because we have our F is equal to MA forces, all right? Uh, yeah, F is equal to MA formula. So what does constant velocity mean in terms of acceleration? It means zero, right? So, so constant velocity is zero, zero acceleration. Keep that in mind. Okay, so now let's, let's try to pick apart this particular picture. Now here's the thing, okay? I know my force applied vector has a y component and an x component to it. But the thing is, the only thing I really care about is the x component because that's the only component of the force that's going to move the cart forward. All right, so that's really the only part of that vector I really care about. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw the x component. All right, I'll put that as an arrow. Where, where are we here? Okay, so let me just call this, this would be force applied in the x direction. Okay, now let's take a look at the formula. So some of the forces in the x direction, right, should equal the mass of the object multiplied by the acceleration of that object. So we're talking about pushing the cart at a constant velocity. So what does that mean in terms of your acceleration value? It means it's zero. What then happens to that whole side? That goes to zero. So we're trying to find the sum of the forces when they exactly balance, and they exactly equal zero. Now, what are the, what are the forces in the x direction of this problem? There are two. We have a positive force applied in the x direction, okay? minus then the 60 newtonal frictional force. And that will equal zero, 60.0, okay? So simply, this is this. For, uh, the force applied in the x direction is equal to 60 newtons. Okay, now that, but that's not the answer, all right? Because this, we're getting close to the answer, but this is the force applied in the pure x direction. Think about, but how is the nurse applying the force? She's applying it at an angle, right? She's applying this force. So this is the force we need to find. 
because that's the applied force that she is applying at 35 degrees below the horizontal. So how do we connect now what we just found here to that? Remember, you just found this side of the triangle. Right. We're going to be doing, I think that's what I heard, if I could hear you through the computer. I think you said we're going to use cosine, right? So that would be great. And yes, we will. So we're going to have cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Right, so cosine of 35 will equal the adjacent side, which was the force applied in the x direction, which is the same thing as the 60 newtons, right? That gets plugged in now, all over my hypotenuse value of the force applied. Okay, simply switch these two variables to solve this for force applied. So that would be 60 all over cosine of 35. So simple now, just literally plug that into your calculator. So it's got 60 divided by cosine of 35, and it comes out to be 73.2. So we got 73.2 newtons, okay? That would be the force that the nurse would have to apply at an angle of 35 degrees below the horizontal on the cart so that it, it overcomes uh, the force of friction and is able to move at a constant velocity. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this helped. Uh, please remember to subscribe. That would definitely help us out a lot, and that would be much appreciated. I thank you, thank you, thank you, if you are able to, and I will see you in the next lesson.